It's now uh, day three and we are, well, hopefully, I think the boat has stopped. It's just, you can kind of feel the waves of the ocean. Um, it's day three now and we're in Split Cro Croatia, Split Croatia. Um, so we're about to go, so I'm about to go see if I can get something to eat really quick before I have to meet my group to do my excursion. I'm supposed to be getting a ride through Croatia in tuk-tuks, which are like these type of cars or automobiles. Um, never been in one before, so this should be interesting. Um, excited to see what this place looks like. So basically every big city in Croatia has one national theater, uh, such oh. as this one. This one is located on the square of Gajo Bulat, who is a statue of a small man down there that you see. One of the most influential majors from the 19th century. He is. Uh, and in front of us you're gonna notice a big... And actually at the end of this street, it connects to the main promenade. When we finish, we finish down there at the end. And your boat is right in front of you. Just the sea separating it from the boat. So you have to go through the promenade and the east coast from where we started to back to your boat. Okay. One of my personal goals to, for this tour is that you guys have fun, you maybe learn something new, but also that as soon as you finish, if you decide to stay in the city, that you don't have to open Google Maps the same second okay. to get yeah. back to the boat and to do anything because I understand uh, that the city yeah, seems a bit complex, the streets and the roads and everything. But trust me, as soon as you know just a couple of checkpoints, which you will do yeah. after this tour, uh, it's gonna be pretty easy to get around. So we're gonna go into the oldest part of Split, the Diocletian's Palace. You see, the city of Split dates back to the year 305. So the city is 1719 years old. 
gonna see the palace, it's more essential area, all of that. Then we can head out the palace for its north gate, see a big statue over there. And then we're gonna come back here with a little look at the old town, okay? Now the old town has some special rules. First of all, it is a UNESCO site since 1979, so it's all protected. And it's been a pedestrian. So this is the west gate of the palace right here. We're gonna go into the west gate. Just follow me. So this is called Brokkenako in Latin. That's the term. Meaning double gate system with a corridor. So this is the security feature. So anyone breaking in or breaking out of the palace would have to go. They you would have walkways like this, so Roman walkways where the soldiers were. They had arrows, spears, and boiling oil to throw that on the enemy, pot oil. So this was on the north, the west, and the east gates. Stand there and people take photos with them. Uh, mm -hmm. That's it. That's what do. Okay. Yeah. Also the dress room. I'll get to that later. <laughs> so by the time the palace was built, these legionnaires didn't exist anymore. <laughs> Luckily, right now it's not. It's very empty. I'll just be careful. We have a little car coming. Just kind of. Benefit of the early tour. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go uh, right here. Um, yeah. Usually, I mean, yesterday, I was doing a tour that was free shipped as well. This was by, by 2 o'clock. Yeah. This was a full of people. But in the morning, you'll find the benefit of it being absolutely empty of books. But, um, have to fix him up. So they bring equipment here to clean him up, to check him from the inside, check all the cracks and everything, and fix. The whole schooling system is completely free, and that includes the university level as well. Since oh, wow. 2013, when we joined the European Union, the entry level to every single public university in the country is free, and if you finish everything as it's planned and scheduled, you don't pay a single euro, you know, not even for a master's or a doctor's degree. What? Well, it's beneficial, yeah, for me as well. I'm studying business economy and business law. Wow. My master's is going to be in finance and revision. Nice. Also in Croatian schools, uh, there are no uniforms and there are no all-day schools. Uh, so one week you're in the morning shift and the next week you're in the afternoon shift. Uh -huh. you just what? So is it, are you like the spokesperson to make us move? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then if you want to move, let me tell you a couple of reasons why not. <laughs> First of all, the average... Uh, look at this. this is, Traffic jam? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the average Croatian salary is around 1,000 euros a month and uh, if you don't have a place to stay for a two-bedroom apartment you're gonna be looking at at least 500 euros monthly plus utilities. So yeah, but uh, on the other side the public health care is free as well and there's no inheritance tax. So you have a couple of reasons to stay and a couple of reasons to stay. Pretty nice one as well, but 
if you don't have that, then it's uh, the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you guys walk a lot, so it doesn't show. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, depends. Uh, what what we gonna do here? Over here, you can take around 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes to take some photos. And before you leave, we're just gonna give you a couple of tips where to go. So. Oh, there's a goes our boat. <laughs> So I definitely should have took better notes on this excursion because uh, I don't remember the names of any of the places that we stopped and I thought I had made like a pin drop in my maps of like each place that we did and I only did it for one. So um, on the Tuk Tuk rides basically he was just giving us like the background history of Croatia and also the different parts so each place that we went to he gave us like a little history lesson before we got there and then um told us that obviously the name of the place um that we were going to and like the significance and why that place is so important and um different parts of the city he had also pointed out like historical figures within their country and different things like that And now we're on our way back to the main part of the city, um, basically like the shopping center before you get to the ports. Um, so we're going to do some walking around and seeing what's available. And then also we were looking for lunch. So the group that I was with on the Tuk Tuk is actually a family um, from Georgia, which was great because on this ship, um, there really wasn't that many people that I found that spoke English like everyone spoke a different language so it was really nice to be able to do an excursion with other Americans um, and just be able to share the same experience with them as well yeah we always are still getting judged mm. of course I know you see you smile <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I was like in a mall. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Uh, That's what he was trying to explain to yeah. us. Oh, there goes a the T-Mobile. <laughs> oh, they have a market. Fresh fruits. Nice. Oh, and they have kiosks. Yeah.
I came back to my room with the McDonald's because we didn't want to miss the boat. The boat, was to be, the boat was supposed to be leaving at 3.30 from here. Um, so I got the vegan burger, chicken strips, and a mango pie. So basically it's mango filling instead of apple. This one, I guess, is the vegan burger. These guys are like waxed, like reusable, I guess. Right, put that in there. Let's take this out. Right here's the mango pie. Sweet and sour sauce. Although, isn't the sweet and sour at home green? Um, and then this is, I guess, the chicken strips. Well, yeah, it is the chicken strips. Not a guess. Oh, Bruh. Chicken strips. Feels like it's gonna be a mukbang. <laughs> oh, I forgot my hair was tied. Okay. Why the light? Whatever. Okay, so. Oh, I think this is the this is the the, um, the same vegan burger that I had in Ireland. I think this is a Boca burger, but this is what it looks like. Oh no, there's pickles on it. Bruh. Oh, good thing I didn't bite into it. Grub. <clears throat> now for the chicken strips. They're sweet and sour. I wonder if it's. I wonder why this is on. Oh, this is on. Okay. It just tastes like chicken nuggets. <laughs> exactly like the chicken nuggets. Alright, so I'm losing this off camera on accident. So, time for the mango pie. This is what it looks like. Oh, it's like really... We're all thin. It's really flaky. Okay. It smells like mango, um puree type of uh, it's different but it's pretty good it kind of reminds me of it's like a mango flavored jam or jelly There's no actual mango pieces in here. But it's pretty good. It's really sweet though. This is diabetes right here. Wow. Well, that's it for trying mangoes in Croatia. So those are the three things. Yeah, the three things that I wanted to try. <laughs> Probably three times. <laughs> Alright. It's gonna be much easier without so many cards. If someone plays the same card, it skips. Well, the first team is gonna be Cotton. Oh, you know who's Cotton? Oh, 